it's definitely easier to go to a shop and just buy without thinking, it's without worrying about what uh, materials to use, how are these materials going to impact the environment. The industry uh, has a huge carbon footprint with its own supply chain, but also with the retail operations, with everything. When a brand farms out production, uh, the production goes to a first tier supplier, and then this tier supplier may subcontract it to another tier of suppliers who can then subcontract it again. So you have up to four tiers of suppliers in this global fashion industry, and this is one of the problems of the industry. You do not control the labor standards, uh, the impact on the environment in all the layers of production. But I think Black Friday is actually a proof of our consumption and our lack of connection. Because we're buying things that we don't need with money that we may not even have, right? So I believe that before buying in Black Friday, we need to ask ourselves, how can these prices be so low? And where does all of these that is not sold go? The future is in circularity. We need this industry to become climate positive. Products that can be recycled, reused, repurposed, a different way to buy fashion, swaps, uh, renting. This is the future of the industry along with decarbonization, which means a different business model, a radically different business model. Now we have to start creating con el propósito de apoyar a la salud humana y ambiental y así restaurar nuestros recursos por medio del diseño regenerativo. You do not see enough reform in the fashion industry because it's still a business whose business model generates a lot of profits. There are actors and stakeholders of the industry that are working sincerely to change it, to reform it, uh, but it takes time. It's the moment of creative destruction and regeneration.